YouTube, YouTube. Man, I've been looking all month for this right here. They finally came in. See them bluegill beds? Them bluegills and shad crackers beds. I finally found it. I told y'all, it, it might have took me a little time, but I eventually found them. And I'm already start wearing they tail out. I got a couple nice ones already. I got this one turtle that's reluctant, so I'm trying to give him a break to stop. But look at them big boys there. Look at them slabs. Ping pong paddles, baby. I told y'all I was going to find it. Just took a little time. Anytime you're fishing, you see them bays right there, stop your boat. Or you on the bank, stop walking, man. And just throw out for a while. You're going to see what's going to happen. It's going to amaze you, man. You guys have a good one. I'll get back with you in a little bit. <laughs> Let me get back to work. Stay tuned. Thank you for fishing with the hood. Fishing in the hood with the Brinsons. Give me a thumbs up, man. See you guys in a little bit. How many of y'all know what this is? Where the real fishing is at? Well, I tell you what, you guys stay tuned. I got something for you. Hey, that shouldn't be. Because we all one people, man. And we work together, put all this stuff together. You'll be surprised what we accomplish. I just look here in Miami alone. I'm just talking about my city, 305 Miami. Blacks been here forever. The Cubans came in, the Marriott boat lift, everything changed here in Miami. All the con all the big time contracts go to the Cubans. Cubans got the best jobs. The Cuban community know about what's going on in Liberty City, in our area, before any other race know about what's going on. They own it. So the, they, so the whites rather give it to the Cubans than allow us to have the opportunity to make things happen. All of us ain't no sorry guys. All of us ain't smoking no weed. All of us ain't sitting in no corner, drinking no beer. It's some hardworking guys that love their families and cherish their kids. You know, we, ain't, we ain't all no bad guys and blacks ain't just all no thugs, okay? So uh, I, I seen some white guys just as worse as black guys. So. We can't put all in one bag, but uh, one thing, I'm, one thing, this whole thing is going on with the uh, protesting and the picketing. I'm proud of. I see in some cases I've seen in some cities where it's really more whites marching than blacks. That's how we shall overcome. I mean, Martin Luther King said in a speech that we shall overcome one day. And he wrote a song about it that we shall overcome one day, and maybe our day have come that we shall overcome. But I know one thing, everybody looking for peace, but ain't nobody looking for Jesus. And he, he's the source of everything, man. We could do all things through Christ because he's strengthened us. And we put prayer back in America. America, we have fallen so far away from my first belief. Man, America was built on Christianity. And if our forefathers could see some of this stuff that's going on, man, they would flip over in their grave, man. I lost our parents that lost their life. And, and, and went through so many different things to for our, for our freedom and just our right to vote. It's power in voting. You have to get out there and vote. You know, if you ain't get if you ain't voting, don't say nothing. You you, you shouldn't. You must be commenting on anything. Your vote counts. Really, that's how Trump got in the chair. Matter of fact, he was unestimated. He thought he was just a joke. He thought it'd never happen. And he was gathering his people together getting together and they, and they and they went out to the polls and they voted you know what i mean black people that didn't vote during that election they figured it was just a joke he wasn't gonna never win but he won so your vote do matter i want you to get out there and vote this year and make you make your vote count that's your voice make your voice count man and it's it just so much going on man and it, it just, it's it's getting worse you got so many police angry all police is ain't no bad police but let's just say you take one apple to rot in a whole bunch. So, but we have to do something where we teach our police this and, and, and we get them more involved in our communities. Get them more involved in our communities inside our community centers and our park and recreation. Let them come out and start hanging out with the kids and intervening with the with different different ethnic groups in our community. And they'll learn, oh, everybody ain't bad. You can't throw everybody in the same boat because the guy got wicked hair and dreads and De La Souls hanging from his head and his pants, his clothes is different from your, pan, your, your pants and his shirt is different from your shirt. You can't judge a man by that. 
that's just the swag, just the swag that lots of the black guys have. You know, I, I, I don't, I don't prefer it before it to have my pants hanging and uh, sagging and swagging with that and, and my hair, my hair all twisted up and all that stuff. I never, I never was with that. So you can't put everybody in the same boat. That's just the society that we live in. That's just the swag that they have. They follow the, uh, the, the rappers and most of your athletes. Look at your athletes. They look at their arms. They they look like a billboard. They got all this stuff tattooed up, and all our kids want to be just like them. You miss your rappers. Uh, I hate to use this guy, Lil Wayne. This guy got tattoos everywhere, all kind of demonic tattoos, and these kids trying to follow what they see. They dress all kind of ways, but our kids in our, in our neighborhood don't realize that these guys here, they got millions of dollars. They got houses in California, homes in on South Beach. They they, they got it made, so they don't care, really care what you do. So all hats off to the Floyd family, man. I, I feel sorry for your pain, and uh, we're going to keep you guys in prayer. But in, in, in every war, I learned this here, in every war, it's, a, it's, it's, it's casualties. And I hate, hate we had to lose Brother George, but things happen. But uh, his death will not be in vain. I mean, man, it's sung, it's, sung out, it's sung out loud and clear. So I think everybody finally got it. Anytime you could hear a grown man on the ground crying for his mother, that's like that's like a sound you can't never get out your head. That's a sound you can't copy it. That's a sound that can't be duplicated. That's a sound, original sound.